When you look at this gaming setup, what is standing out of place? It's the keyboard, and that's what we're fixing today. We got the Republic of Gamer Claymore 2 keyboard. It is an awesome keyboard coming with a modular number pad with four macro buttons and a volume wheel that feels great. Also, the buttons aren't too clicky. Beyond all that, the keyboard is wireless, and with that is amazing. It's also got a really good battery charges via USB-C, as well as just regular USB with fast charging availability. It has a endless supply of RGB lighting customization, as well as macro button settings setups that you can set up no problem. When you want to install your modular keypad, you can just take off that right side. It is magnetic. Make sure you take off all the plastic and then remove the left side of your number removable magnetic panel and slide your number pad into your keyboard. You'll feel it slide and lock. It will be a little bit wiggly, but it's okay. Just don't pick it up a lot, okay? You'll also get a wrist rest that comes with the Republic of Gamer logo on it. And beyond that, we're pretty much good to go and set up our cabling and get that done. And you need to do an update with that cabling and it is US USB-C to USB-C, you have the regular charging, which is a green charging rate, and if you're in the fast charging mode, you will get a purple charging rate, which will be much faster in the keyboard's journey to 100%. Once you've plugged Claymore 2 into your computer, it will actually just automatically download the Armory Crate installer, and from there, it'll give you a couple of different options for setup. Once the Armory Crate installation is complete, make sure you make an account with Asus. After that, make sure you register your product. Pretty easy within the whole user center. You register your product, top left corner, pretty much, and then once you get into your keyboard, you have the ability to customize everything basically from your macros on your number pad to just general macros that you want to have integrated by just having a specific button pressed once you press your macro button. There's a lot that goes on into this keyboard and we're not going to go through it all in this video but you'll get a general overview. You have the RGB indicators which you can sync with the keyboard lighting as well as just put on battery mode. Also when you get into your lighting that's really when the fun starts with setting up your vibe and what you want color scheme wise. You can change it all and we're going to go through that maybe in another video if we have enough comments but generally it's pretty easy easy, straightforward. I go with rainbow and I want to make sure that it's usually pointing in the direction towards the monitor. That's just me. You can pick whatever you want and be on that. Let me know what you come up with in the comments below. Moving on to the next section being the power section. Pretty important. I personally prefer power saving mode. Also, don't forget to train your lithium ion batteries by charging them up all the way. And then once you've charged them all the way, let them discharge by letting the battery go to zero, charge it up again and do that about like five times until you have your battery regulated. You could look it up. Lithium ion batteries need to be regulated and calibrated by doing this. If you don't, you're going to end up losing some of your power potential. Now getting to the final part of our video, going through the firmware update, you will need to turn off your keyboard's wireless transmitting capabilities and plug it into your PC. Once you have done that, you will have the ability to update your firmware. And I literally have no idea what the firmware update is for, but in general, we're at the end of the video. Thanks for checking it out. I do love this keyboard. I think it is a very nice medium between too clicky and not clicky enough. It does have a nice feel to each key. And beyond that, the stream and everything in the studio is looking a lot better now. Thanks for checking out the video. Don't forget to smash that like button, subscribe to the channel, become a member, help support the work that I do here, and beyond that, stay elevated and peace out.